Well, this is it. This is the last video I'm going to ever shoot for today. It's an Akai ATK110 tuner, which uh, ah, it's got a bit of a problem. So this time I've got a, a Nakai. This came from the same place, the same estate, and this was probably the tuner that went with that uh, amplifier, although it's not from the same series because it doesn't have the recessed tuning knob like the other one does, but uh, like it does for volume. But this came from the same place, and this tuner, it appears to work, but it does have a problem, and that is that the dial is so far out of calibration I believe this is 96.9. I'm just going to listen for the station identifier. I believe this is 96.9 that I'm tuned into, but if we look down here where it is tuned in on the dial, it looks to be more like about uh, 90, almost 99, and definitely not 99. Um, if I go up to like like 99.3, should be here, but it's not. Where is my FM muting? Okay, there's the French station. That's supposed to be 97.7, so that should be way down here. I think that's 99.3 there, so... Um, it's certainly... Just 101. Volume that the last resort had to be re-recorded multiple times because Sabbath's music was leaking into the Eagles' recording. For life in the fast lane, Glenn Fry's drug dealer was the inspiration for the song title. According to the oh, I better talk over this. I don't want to be <laughs> uh, the Eagles, right? They're playing the Eagles, so I can't uh, can't let that play through, even though they're doing a voiceover. I want to see what this is. Station this is. But definitely, it's it's off now. If I go down to the basement, my station that I that I test with is uh, eighty-seven point. Yeah, you see, that's mine, and that should be like eighty-seven point five. So this thing's off by a mile. It might just be the oscillators out of adjustment on it. So let's uh, pull this one apart and just see what is the scoop on this one. And it may be just. I can tweak the oscillator and uh, get everything back where it belongs. That's that's the hope. Is that it's just the uh, the oscillator's off frequency. And it could be dirt too in the in the tuning capacitor, but normally that would throw it off by as far as this one's off. This thing's dangerous too. I got a I got a sliver from the cabinet. I slid my hand across the front and some of the metallic paint that's on here actually went into my hand. Look at that. I got injured. Injury on the job. It drew blood. I had to pick that out. That was from, uh, that was just from, I just happened to run my hand across the front of this thing and there's a little chip right there. Right there that, that came off and stabbed me. Plastic with metallic paint on it. Uh, okay, this thing is, uh, this is the FM, this is the front end over here, and uh, I think this is the oscillator down there. So let's just see if I tweak this oscillator, will it move? Okay, so I think it's a pretty fruitless thing to call for Prime Ministers to resign. Uh, okay, that sounds like CBC, that should be 88.1. Uh, but uh, so let's just of, let's uh, make that 88.1, and there, there I am at 87.5. Well, let's um, let's see how it tracks the rest of the band. I'm down where I'm supposed to be. That's simple. That would have just drifted from age, maybe some components aging, uh, maybe one of the capacitors aging down inside here. Although it's a ceramic cap, so they shouldn't age anyway. It's just component aging has caused this thing to drift a bit. Let's just see how the rest of the band tracks now. So let's go for 92.9. A little bit off on that still. How about 99.3? A 
little bit off. Let me just try and bring that a little bit closer. Right there, maybe. Right, right where it's supposed to be. 92.9. So get through this. Um, no, that's a little time. bit low. I'm just a little bit off. I'm not even getting my own test transmitting out. Yeah. So 88.1 should be CBC. To, uh, that looks to be 88.1, 92.9, little bit high, 96.9, that's 96.1, and I'm a little bit high on that. Let's try 101. Okay, that'd be 101.1, and it should be. Or like there. That should be 101.1. The 99.3 should be right there, which it looks like it is. But 103.5. That looks to be right about where 103.5 should be. 104.3. Or 4.9, 6.5, that looks good. One oh seven point seven, that looks about right. How about ninety six point nine? APR on a five year variable. Looks like that's high ratio mortgage. Wow. Right on. Ages Lucy Bank together with ninety two point nine should be there it is. That's looking pretty darn close, 88.1. That seems to just bring up the base string. Good. Yep. And right at the bottom of the dial, my little test transmitter. I think, I think we're okay. Now, let's check it for AM. Am I going to get anything? Probably not, because there's no AM antenna, so I'll just cl clip a wire on here. and see how my AM tracking is. Probably not going to pick up anything. I don't know which one's the which was the antenna. Uh, loop and AM. Okay, it's this one. I don't have a long antenna, obviously, on this thing. It's just a little short wire. But that looks like that looks like 980. So that seems to be tracking. Try 1040. Yeah, 1040s coming in, 1130. It's about right. 1410. Yeah, um, good morning. I hear you're a fellow Kiwi too, so it's nice to talk with you. Uh, yeah, I'm 1500. Thinking, of course, that's the history. history of Dairy, Meat, and even Lord of the Rings. I'll turn on my little AM test transmitter and see what, uh, what I get on that. I don't normally leave that on because it interferes with so much stuff in here. Yeah, and there it is, humming away like crazy. 1440, that's close enough. But the, um, the AM band wasn't so close adjusted anyway. The only thing I adjusted was the FM. The, I didn't touch the AM. Uh, that would have been uh, the oscillator coil over here, I think, for AM. Anyway. Okay, I guess this is all I can do on this one. It's, it's working. It was just off uh, frequency a bit. We just adjusted the trimmer here to bring it back on, center the dial properly, and this one now is ready to go. Probably sell it with that amplifier as a set. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.